Let's make this quick. Don't worry. It'll be over in a flash. Get it? That's it's my name. I'm the Flash. Hey everyone. This awesome video will be explaining about the physics of speedsters. We will be going through three main ideas. Quick description. Number one. How fast can Quicksilver and Flash go? Number two. How can they hear stuff? Number three. What can they actually see? Grashy Comics issue number one. First one up is Quicksilver from Marvel. Let's open up his file. Marvel, he can go at Mach 10, which is 2.1 miles every second. He could run around the planet in three and a half hours. At that speed, if he were to hit you, it would be the same as being smacked by a large oil tanker. It would be... Up next, Flash. Now, to demonstrate Flash's top speed, we're going to be looking into a comic called Flash the Human Race. Long story short, Flash uses the kinetic energy of the whole entire planet, and he uses that to race the villain from where they are in space all the way to planet Earth. And in the end, he wins. Do you really want to know how fast he's going? He reaches trans time velocity. Let's look at some comparisons, alright? Usain Bolt is the fastest human being on record, reaching speeds just below 28 miles per hour. Spider-Man has reached speeds over 200 miles per hour. Sonic the Hedgehog's normal running speed is around Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. Rip Van Winkle's magic bullets can travel to at least Mach 33. Quicksilver once crossed the Earth at Mach 640. Decepticon missiles can go as fast as Mach 1419. Mega Rayquaza smashed a meteor at Mach 13815. While Beerus and Goku fought at relativistic speeds before a few drops of water could fall to the floor. Swords Keyblade can shoot beams three and a half times the speed of light. Dr. Fate outweighs the Big Bang 100 times the speed of light. Warp 11, the USS Enterprise traveled over 1,300 times the speed of light. Iron Man once flew at 111,000 times the speed of light. The Millennium Falcon can surpass 9 million times the speed of light. Silver Surfer flies at around 32 million times the speed of light. Superman flew from the edge of the universe at 274 billion times the speed of light. Green Lantern can travel at 41 trillion times the speed of light. Ting at top of current lightning can dodge attacks over 7 quadrillion, 861 trillion times the speed of light. Being able to play in Galaxy Marvels at the end of Mid and Black Bust and moving at least 2 quintillion, 932 quadrillion, 848 trillion times the speed of light. And the moment that you have been waiting for. Flash went 23 tredecillion, 759 duodecillion, 449 undecillion times faster than light. Karashi Comics number two. In our day to day activities, most of us have experienced the Doppler shift. It's sort of the same deal when you are stationary and you hear an ambulance rushing past. Save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. If I could make days last forever, if words could make wishes come true, I'd save every day. You can test this by falling from space. Remember when Felix Baumgartner raised himself high up into the atmosphere in a capsule and then stepped out to fall back to Earth? Well, I do. It was cool. When Felix Baumgartner dropped from the edge of space, his falling body broke the sound barrier. He was moving beyond the speed of sound, but he could still hear himself speak. This is because the air in Baumgartner's helmet was moving with him at the same speed. Quicksilver's headphones keep pockets of air inside of his ears that move along with him, so thankfully we can ignore any weird Doppler effects or the deafening rush of air itself. Grashy Comics number three. The only person who actually is able to see reality and is able to connect his eyes to his brain instantly is the Flash. Light has to go through a few steps in your eyes and brain before you actually see it. You are watching this amazing video right now and as you feel the photons are hitting your eyes. Those photons create chemical reactions which turn into electricity. Then those are sent to long neurons, and then translated to images. 
U.S. researchers discovered that the human brain can interpret images that the eye sees in just 13 milliseconds. Flash and Quicksilver need less than that. There are less philosophical points here, too. By processing information that fast, the Flash could pick out any single frame of a movie just by watching it. You know, kind of like that single frame of porn in Fight Club? Ah! Or not. He could see every individual flap of a hummingbird's wings. You didn't see that coming? <laughs>